My sound was off the entire time that time, wasn't it? Jenny, thank you for pointing that out. You should he you should hear me now. I it was on before and now it's on. okay. So thank you for being here. Let's get started. Hi knees. Okay, well let me let me surmise what I just said. <laughs> so uh, today we're gonna be having the most fun class of all time. One. Two, we're gonna do a good warm-up because we're gonna be doing kicks today. Tail kickers. Our kicks are uh, different than what they were before. So it used to be the same kicks over and over, crescent, uh, tornado kick, back is punch. Now it's something new. Now it's something new. Now, outside crescents, our kicks will be uh, turning kicks. So these kicks are typically used in a sparring sense. Um, so our kicks are just the same combos. We're going to talk about different ways of kicking in a sparring sense. So uh, we're going to do all turning kicks, turning hook, uh, turning side, and turning uh, round. Uh, for all our Umakians out there, turning hook is a kick you know quite well. Inside crescents. It's a kick you learn at color belts. Panel people often don't know it. So Emily, this is a new way, uh, a new style of kicking. It's not just your typical spin hook kick. Spin hook kick. Now let's do this one more time. I'm starting off slow with these. I always like to do these just to get our body warmed up, but I do have a different warm up today. Since we're doing kicks, we're going to warm up with some kicks. But not only that, Master Miller's Bane, lazy kicking, lazy kicking. So our warm up today, we're doing lazy kicks and we're gonna keep it nice and low. Outside crescents, perfect. So now get into your hip circles. Jenny often tells me I warm up before this class, I stretch out before this class. If you do, that's wonderful. Thank you for doing that. That makes sure that you're super stretched out when we start kicking. However, if you don't do that, I always like to warm up in class anyways. My suggestion is if you need a better or longer warm up, do it before class. I only have 45 minutes, so I like to get into it relatively fast. So now that being said, let's start jumping. So we're doing some lazy kicks. We're gonna start off with lazy front kicks. So as I'm kicking, I'm just kicking nice and low, back and forth. One, two. Now keep hopping and keep kicking. I'm not popping my leg out. I'm sticking it out there. I'm warming up my hamstrings. I don't wanna pop it. Back and forth. Nice, right, keep it going. I like to hop on these. You don't have to. If you just want to push your leg out, it works just the same. All right. Uh, it's good to see Taylor here. It's good to see the McCoys here as well. I see Nick has his own phone. Oh, no, he doesn't. I was going to say, Nick has his own YouTube account. That's dangerous. All right, so now we're going to do a sidekick. A sidekick. Now, something that I want to point out. We're doing them lazily but my back foot is still pointed in the opposite direction. If I try to do this, my knee does not bend this way, I'm gonna hurt myself. One, two, back and forth. Also, uh, just a shout out to another one of our classes, come to the brown and red class. Trust me, you'll get a refresh in some of your kicks and it is a, always a really good workout. Whew. We have like 30 people in the class too, it's a party. Please come, it's a lot of fun. Back and forth. All right, bam. One, two. Feel free to make your own sound effects. See you later, Ryan. That was Ryan Miller, everybody. Round of applause. Yeah, <laughs> oh, callbacks. <laughs> so, and freeze. Now we're gonna do back kicks. I want you to watch this slowly. Knee up, back, but they're still lazy, right? I'm still going forward. I'm still doing them low. Back kick, switching back and forth, perfect. Uh, the inside joke there is I once told the entire demo team, whenever Ryan walks into a room, give him a round of applause. And if he ever asks, don't explain it to him. Just say you deserve it. So for an entire month, when Ryan would leave the room to grab something, he would come back to a round of applause and he was not happy with it. <laughs> See, the unfortunate thing is now I can't do the same to you guys and you'll know what's up. So we just need to find one person and you, Mac, and Pam are going to start doing that too again. Now freeze. Deep breath in, deep breath out. No, unfortunately not, Taylor. This does not count as one of the candidate classes you have to go to. This is a black belt class, but you'll get a lot of advanced kicking in. All right, so we're going to get started here. I'm going to give you 10, 10, or sorry, 10, 10, 10, and 10. Um, and then a final 10, but the final 10 I'll talk about. 
You're gonna do 10 high knees. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 tail kickers. And well, you know what? We'll just say 10 outside crescents, inside crescents. So one, two, 10 of them. Other leg, 10. Perfect. And then you're gonna do 10 of whatever exercise you want. You're doing this three times. The first time you do it, you should do it rather slow. Second, faster. Third, as fast as you can, or 75%. Are you ready to go? All right, let's do this. Go, high knees. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's me going slowly, everybody. Ten. I'm going fast because I'm already stretched and warmed up. You do not do this. I've had four classes today already. I'm good to go. You go at your pace that feels best for you. I'm letting you know where I'm at. You should know where you're at. Woo. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Yes, I was a part of that famous pop group in sync. Everybody. Yeah, yeah yes. that uh, Master Miller told her that the uh, black box class is counted as a Canada class. Seriously? Okay, then it counts, Taylor. Why'd you ask if you knew the answer? <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to call me out, didn't you? All right. And then I do 10 of whatever exercise I want. Cool, I'm doing it now. It's breathing. Oh, it might have been that she was talking about the counts. Oh, Counts count. Yes, yeah. the counts count. Jenny brought that up. She emailed and said that because we might not be able to get back to the studio classes, can count. Okay. There you go, Taylor. You answered your own question. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you, Taylor. Okay. So, you, I want you guys to do 10 exercises. I'm not, so I can still breathe and talk to you. All right. So, now we're going to do high knees. That's that again. We're going to go at a half speed, 50%. Go your own pace and go. You don't have to wait for me. If you finish early, get a drink of water, come on back, hop up and down, get your gloves on, get your feet pads on. But if you're going slower than me, I'll give you a little bit of time after and at the end of this to catch up. Faster people get a drink of water early. Slower people, you'll have time to catch up. Nice and that's my 10. Feel free to hop between each one of these steps. That does help you warm up your body quite a bit more. Keep going. 10 on that. Master Miller is so nice. Yes. <laughs> Extremely. Is she in chat right now? No. She's the nicest person of all time. <laughs> I'm just joking around. She's really nice. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then ten of whatever exercise you want. All right. Nicholas got, his comment got deleted. Did you delete it? Or is this automatic YouTube deletion? No, he just, yeah, he just took it back because he just put a slash mark in there. Okay. Mistake. All right, all right. So, um, once you know what your 10 exercises, you're going to do this one more time. This time, 75% uh, 80% full speed. All right. All right. I'm hopping up and down. Final time, your body should be getting really warm at this point. Okay. High knees. See if you can go faster than me. If you're slower and you're not done with your second one yet, hop with me. If you're faster and you're already starting your third one, keep going. See if you can go faster than me on all of these. Ready, set, go. Woo. You can add dance moves if you want. <laughs> I'm not that talented. I tr uh, tried it. I am not coordinated. Eight, nine, ten. Other leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then ten with oh, whatever exercise. Get a drink of water when you're done. And then come on back. Six, seven lights on me at the current moment. Three being very fluorescent, so it's extremely hot. I would pen it to like 95 degrees hot. All right, deep breath in, deep breath out. I'm gonna give you 30 more seconds to finish. If you're already finished and you got your gloves and boot pads on, perfect. 
If you're not finished yet, don't grab your gloves and boot pads. You're fine. You're good. That just helps you train. So when you start to spar, you'll be used to it. However, if you train with Adam, then you're going to put them on it. They're going to feel bulky. They're going to feel extra. So I suggest when you do these sparring kicks, put your gear on at least a little bit so you get used to it. All right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and back. Okay. So, like I said, we're doing turning kicks today. Before we do the turning variation of these kicks, we're going to learn these kicks plain, flat, and perfect. I know you guys already know how to do them, but just consider this a little bit of an extra warm-up in practice. So what we're going to start with, out with is our round kick, our round kick. We're going to do 10 on one leg, then 10 on the other on my counts. While I'm talking, make sure you stay in Addy's position, just like you would at the studio. So on my round kick here, there's three things I want to point out that are very, very important. My plant foot and its rotation, my chamber, and then finally my extension or my strike. So where should my front toe be pointing at the end of my round kick? All away from me. Where should my chamber be held? Wherever I'm kicking. And finally my extension should be coming off of my chamber. Do not kick up. That shows that you have uh, not great flexibility or you've been training wrong. So an example of that, I chamber, and instead of kicking from my chamber, I kick above it. I don't have power, that's showing inflexibility. So, 10 round kicks, guarding stance on my go, and one. Really treat this one slowly. I'm adding a lot of power. 
Fully stretched, they're gonna hurt. Kick low, kick low. Okay, ready. And one, go. Aya, two, go. Aya, three, go. Aya, four, go. Aya, five, go. Aya, six, go. Aya, seven, go. Aya, eight, go. Aya, nine, go. Ten, go. Aya, van, go. Um, what other go things? Two, go. Um, nothing else? Okay. I have nothing, sir. I'm sorry. All right. Wait. So now we're going to move on to our hook kick. This is our final thing today before I start teaching you guys some of these turning kicks. I'm talking about these basic kicks that I know you know well because if you don't have the basics here, you can really mess up your turning kicks. But because we're doing this, they are going to feel natural going forward. So to get started, hook kick. Hook kick. We're going to do our slide up hook kick. Feel free not to do this twist. That's not helping you on this kick. Your power comes from this hip rotation across, not from your extension anymore. So our rotation doesn't matter. Our rotation on our kick doesn't matter. It's our hip turn that adds this power, okay? So you're doing a side kick next to Bob the bag here, okay? Right next to the head, then you're sneaking it through. A mistake I see all the time, the thing I want you to work on a lot, is not kicking, if I'm gonna kick you in the camera, not kicking here, or kicking here, kicking right next to you. So I'm going there, not in, or not super far out, or I'm never gonna hit. So you're barely sneaking your leg in, then you're bending or twisting your hip through. We're gonna do, uh, let's do 10 of these kicks too. Let's really make sure we have our basics. Ready, go. One, I uh, kick low if you have to. I'm gonna kick low, I don't feel super stretched out with my hamstring. Ready, go.
going to point towards your target. Just take your front heel and turn it. Almost like you're showing off how wonderful your calves are. Ready? Hands up. Go. One. Go. Two. Go. Three. Go. Four. Go. Five. Go. Six. Go. Seven. Go. Eight. Go. Nine. Go. Ten. Okay. So now, from that rotation, you're going to rotate this, and then you're going to pop out your back foot too. So my front heel shows through the target. My back heel is going to do the same. So it's one, two. Then all I want you to do is shoot and bring this leg up. So if I do this opposite leg, I rotate my heel, heel, knee, up. So it's not up like a back kick, into your chest like a side kick. So let's try this out. Ready? Go. One, two, three. I'm rotating my chest even more. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Let's do it two more times. Go. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. So now you know how we popped out on our side kick? We're now going to pop out. Just like that. So, I rotate. One, plant foot. Plant foot, knee up. And then as I shoot this leg out, I'm going to extend and strike. See how there's a straight line from my heel to my shoulder as I shoot. That's how you get your power. So we're going to do nine. Nine. And actually, we're going to do five each leg. We're going to go slow, faster, 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 faster. Ready? Hands up. First one. One, two, three, four. That's one. A little bit faster. Go. One, two, three. Faster. Go. 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 Now we're going to go full speed. Ready? Hands up. Hop. Front heel rotate. Go. Ah. One more time for fun. Go. Ah. Nice. Other leg. Start off slow. Go. One, two, three. Open your shoulder. Ah. One. Go. One, two, three, two. Faster. Three, four. Five. Nice. That's a turn side kick. That is part of your combos. Although I know it's probably pretty easy. Up to this point, it's probably been really easy for what you're doing. That's because you don't do a lot. I see a lot of people doing turning side kicks instead of turning back kicks. This is all motions that you've done before. Now, turning hook kick. You Mac people, I know you know this well. But do your best with it, okay? I'm going to rotate the same way. I'm going to bring my knee up to the center of my chest the same way. Then I'm going to pop and hit. If I rotate this shoulder, I will want to do a spin hook kick. So when I'm here, if I turn, 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 kick, if I keep this shoulder rotating, I'm not going to do a 180. I'm going to want to go past it and land here. So your shoulder, your back shoulder, is your indicator of what kick you're doing. The second gets the halfway point, freeze. Then, if you want to open up to a round kick, you can, but freeze and hold it there for your hook. Five slow, or sorry, one slow, two faster, 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 five one leg, five the other. Ready, hands up. I'm gonna do this one facing the camera. However you guys can do it, however you would like. Guarding stance, ah, go. One. Let's do this again. Ready? Faster. Go. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Two. Go. Faster. Three. Go. Four. Full speed. Ready? Go. Ah. Five. Now your back leg, your back leg, your right leg. Same thing. Slow, faster, 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 faster. You got this, Emily. You're going to crush it. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Four. Colin McCoy, I haven't checked you out very much, only when the microphone was muted. The, the 
this is one of your best kicks. Really nail it. Ready? Go. Rotate. 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 Kick. One. Ready? Go. Two. Go. Three. Go. Four. Go. Ah, five. Perfect. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. So now I'm going to show you your final kick. The kick that's actually going to challenge you guys. The kick you guys probably have not done yet, only if you did classes with me a little bit. Because it's one of my favorite Spartan kick. A turning ground kick. So I'm going to turn this way. I'm gonna, sorry, if I'm facing you. I'm going to turn this way, but I'm going to hit you this way. How is that possible? How can I turn one direction and hit you in the opposite direction? The secret is, is that turn, the setup that we talked about. Because I'm not actually turning, or sorry, I'm not actually spinning. If I was spinning, it'd be impossible to hit this side of the bag while I was spinning, no matter how hard I tried. Feel free to try it, prove me wrong. Try to spin around and try to hit something on the side of the head. It's impossible because your motion's going this way, you can't counteract your motion. I'm not spinning, I'm turning. And more precisely, I'm raising. When I go here, I'm not gonna bring my foot to the side, I'm just gonna bring it up and around. So instead of bringing it to the side of me here, I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna bring my back leg almost like a rising kick this way. If I'm doing that, I'm not turning at all. I'm doing a rising kick. My motion's this way, not this way, right? So we're gonna do five slow each leg. A turning ground. I'm gonna twist, front heel, back heel. Shoot my leg up and rise it, right, rise it. Next to the back, round kick. And actually, uh, we will do five and five, but first, let's just try that motion. Take your front foot, face it backwards, take your back foot, face it backwards. Take your far away leg, lift it up next to the side of your bag or person or air, whatever you're do hitting right now. Raise it straight up, one. Let's do it two more times, ready? Two, three. Now sit your feet, three times. I want you to start pre-rotated. Pre-rotated, ready? Go, raise it straight up, one. Same motion and add your, add your turn at the front. One, bring your legs straight up. Two, okay, five and five, go. That's your one, you got this. Ready, go. Two, go. Three, go. Four, go. Five. If you're finding yourself kicking out here and not hitting the back, you're trying to rotate or spin into it. And not only that, when you start to spin, you're missing. This leg's doing this, not doing this. I'm not bringing it around and hit, because I can't rotate that way. I can't rotate this way and try to hit that way. I'm raising, bam, striking. All right, other leg, ready? Go, one, nice, ready, go. Two, go, three, go, four, go, five. Deep breath in, deep breath out. So you guys may be tired, you may not be tired. I could just be tired because there's a whole bunch of fluorescent lights on me, and it's the fourth class of the day. But if you're not tired, that's okay. We're gonna do a heavy drill in a second here. But first, I wanna teach two more advanced kicks. So, at your test, you're not just doing a spinning round, or sorry, a turning round, or a turning hook, or a turning side. What you're actually doing, well, and you'll do those, but you're adding them in addition. So you're going turn, hook, round. You're going turn, side, round. You're going turn, side, hook. The motion is the same on each one of these kicks. I turn, I lift my leg in position, I strike, I re-chamber, 
I stretch. So it doesn't matter which kick I'm doing, that's the same motion all the way through. So let me give you two combination of kicks at random and I want you to try it out. Turning hook round. So I turn, I hook, just like I did before. I don't let the shoulder turn round. Let's try it again, ready, go. Turn, don't let the shoulder cross the center line. Hook, round. All right, I'm gonna do it for it on the camera. Ready, go. Turn, stop your shoulder at center line. One, two. If my shoulder goes past center line, that's now a spinning kick. Doesn't work that way. Let's try it one more time, ready? Go. Now let's try turning side round. Turning side round, so I'm here. My shoulder stops at the center line. My feet are rotated. I bring my knee up. I extend my leg to the side. I hit up top for my round. Okay, let's do it two more times. Ready? Go. Turn. One, two. One final time. Ready? Go. One, two. All right. Now we're going to move on to the, I think, the hardest one. Turning side hook or hook side. So you can do either one, I'll let you choose. Because I'm a benevolent instructor. You're here, you go 180, you do your hook, and you pop out for your side. Or vice versa, you extend your leg on your side, then you bring it back and you sneak your hook in before you put your leg down. So we're gonna do this, hmm. I know I did the other three, we're gonna do this one five times, okay? Any combination you want, but you have to throw those two kicks. Hands up. Aya! Go! One. Ready? Go! Two. Ready? Go! Aya! Three. Go! Bam! Four. Go! And five. You can make your own sound effects. Mm -hmm. So I take that last part rather slowly because these kicks can be really dangerous when you go too fast with them, right? If you try to do a turning round but you spin too much and try to go here, you will pull your hamstring instantly because your hamstring saying, okay, I got this, I'm gonna just spin this way and you're like, nope. Psh. Doing this with your body isn't good. We go slow to prevent injuries. But if you get this down, you can go as fast as you want with it, right? If you know it's not a spin and it's just a turn, rise, you can throw this kick really, really fast. Bam! If you don't know that, it's gonna be difficult. So I promise to work out at the end. It's gonna be a simple one. And this is gonna be our end here. Uh, actually, no, it's not. I got one more thing after this, that'll be a little bit of a treat. But I gotta work out before we do that. So, shh, shh, your goal! If you have a bag, you can do it on a bag. If you don't have a bag, you can do it on the air. You can't break world record on the air, but you know what? You can still do it in the air. It's the Black Belt Challenge. What's the Black Belt Challenge, Master Nick? Well, let me tell you. Your goal is to kick a bag, kick the air, as many times as you can within 30 seconds. You can do it however you would like, but there is a preferred way to go fast with this. If you don't do it the preferred way, that's fine, you can get pretty high still. But if you do it the preferred way, you'll probably break a record or you'll get close to it. With all that being said, you have 30 seconds to kick it however you'd like. The rules are this. You can use whatever kick, but you must chamber, kick, and rechamber. So I don't want to see any of these. That's not a kick. You still have to bring it back. If you go kick, I'm fine with that, because you're setting your foot down, but you can't. You can keep your foot in the air as much as you want, as long as there's distance between you and the bag after the kick. That's rule one. Two, you get 30 seconds, no more. Any kick after or before 30 seconds doesn't count. So if you've already started this, good job wasting your energy. I appreciate it. Addie's position while I'm talking, I'm calling you out, Taylor. I, no, 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 I'm calling him out because I know he's sitting on his couch right now. Same with you, Nick. Actually, your mom's there. I don't know. Actually, no, Nick's, Nick's pretty well behaved. Hmm. Same with Taylor. I don't know. Well, I'll call out Emily Gazowski then. Jenny Wolfis. At his position. So, 
Rule one, distance between the kick and the back. Rule two, 30 seconds, nothing before, nothing after. And finally, rule three, if it is not a solid strike, it does not count, so you can't do this. You actually have to hit it with a little bit of force. So those are your three rules, 30 seconds. Miss Left will start the time when we're ready. Okay. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. You were right! Bam! I knew it, Taylor! Oh! Addie's position, my man. If I catch you again, that's 30 push-ups. Ready. Guarding stance. Aya! Hop and go! You have 30 seconds starting now. You guys got this. Push yourself. You are going to nail this. While you're doing that, I'm going to take a relaxing drink of water. <laughs> I do know that Taylor was sitting down. I know him well. 15 seconds. I know him well. How do you call me out? Oh, I know you, Taylor. 10 seconds left, 10 seconds left. Pick it up, pick it up. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Here's my deal, if anybody got above 80, you owe me 20 put, or I owe you 20 push-ups. Nobody got above 80, you owe me 20 push-ups. Yes, I'll per instructor push-up. Uh, that's the only thing I give, push-ups, 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 push-ups. Taylor, give me 20 push-ups anyways, no matter who got above. Feel free to type it in chat how many you got. While you're doing that, I do got a final surprise for you. I'm going to show you one final kick today. One combination of kicks. It's my favorite combination of kicks of all time. And I'm going to, ah, you know what, I was going to grab a chair, I'm going to show you it on the back. If anybody can get above 20 of these set of kicks, I'll give you a candy bar next time we're in the studio. That includes Jenny, that includes Miss McCoy, Miss Stephanie. I will give you candy bars that your children can't have. Jenny, you don't have a child, but that your children can't have for the adults. So here's your combination. Turning hook, round, side, round. You will probably have to do this. This is called the fly swatter, and it's something Master Turnquist is known for. So your surprise is this. Um, while you're, I do not see anybody in chat, so we'll do 20 push-ups later. Oh, 49. That's not nice, Nick. 48. Good job, Denny. All right, so let's do this final combo as we're all warmed up. We're going to go turning hook. One, two, three, four. Hook round, side round. This is a surprise and a present because Master Turquist probably will not teach this in any of his classes. He will not tell you guys that you have to do this kick. I am telling you guys because you're here in this black belt class right now. Don't tell any other black belts. Let's keep it a secret. But you can practice this now. You get above 20, I'll give you a candy bar. Hands up. Try it out. Turn. Hook. Round. Side. Extend. Round. We're going to do three of these. Ready? Hands up. Face your back. Go. One, two, three, four. That's one. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. That's two. Ready? Go. Hook. Round, side, round. Nice. Relax. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. So I got one final thing for today. It's a little bit of a talking point here. We, with all everything that's going on, we have a chance to open up back, uh, open back up again. You Mac and Kicks cannot. Their counties still say they're closed. However, Douglas County is still open. So they're going to open up, I believe, April 28th still. With that being said, we're going to open up a week after that. We're going to open up May 4th. May 4th. Whatever the county tells us to do, we're going to go one step beyond that. We're not just doing the basic things. We're going above and beyond. We want to keep you safe first and foremost. If we're having uh, classes inside the studio, we're doing it in a safe way. There's no if, ands, or buts about that. If you have any concerns, you can email Master Loft on how are you going to approach this? How are you going to go about it? And he'll let you know everything. But I'll tell you, one step above what we're told. More than one step above. We're going to make sure that you guys are safe. That being said, I had a little girl tell me, hey, we're still not going to come to the studio. My mom's at risk. I want to make sure that I stay safe. And, I, and that's fine. That's perfect. I'm okay with that. You are responsible for your own safety. So we're giving people an option. If you want to come to the studio, you can. 
We're going to limit number of classes. We're going to limit a lot of different things. Um, with that being said, uh, we're still going to have online classes. If you don't feel comfortable, don't come into the studio. And all be all, we want you safe. And if you don't feel safe here with everything we're still doing above that, that's okay. We're still going to do online classes. We're still going to do Zoom classes. We're still going to, I'm actually going to upload more videos. So we're going to expand our online program while also um, making sure we're safe inside the studio. So it's really going to split it up. We're really going to do what's right here. So uh, Pamela will be open May 4th. Uh, feel free to email Master Luck with the things that we're doing above and beyond. Um, but if you don't want to come in, you do not feel safe. Jenny, I know you work uh, in a, a facility, a medical facility. You don't have to come in. We're still going to do these online classes. With all that being said, I got one more thing that I want to talk about because I saw a couple of people do this already. You guys want to try out Kate's Martial Arts Black Belt classes? Go for it. Go for it. I tend to go in a bit more detail on some things. They tend to go into a bit more detail on others. They have a different way of thinking and doing the things, right? They're a brand, the, they will show you brand new ways of doing things. So if you like to learn something new, you like to push yourself, go to those classes. You'll have a lot of fun, right? trust me. They're taught amazingly, um, and they have more than one person too. They have two people so they can show off front and back. They can uh, interact with chat a bit more. So if you guys want uh, an amazing class, go to Kings Martial Arts too. Come to our class, go to their class. We well, have multiple for that reason. So um, is there, if there's any questions, you can leave them in chat. Sorry, I, uh, I cut class a little bit short so I could tell you guys all those things and answer any questions if necessary. I had about 10 minutes of questions at the Brown and Red class about it, so I wanted to make sure. Oh, and Jenny says, open up today for the safer at-home orders in some countries. Yeah. Counties, yeah. Yeah, in some counties. Mm -hmm. That's true. We, we want to make sure that we stay safe. If the county says we can be open, we'll be open, but if the county says we're not, then we won't. It depends on county to county. So we just want to make sure we're safe, we're doing things the right way. Um, yeah, oh my goodness, 48 kicks. Um, real fast, if you're still in here, uh, I'm not sure if anybody dropped out while we, I was talking. Anybody dropped out? 56 Nick, oh, that was close. What? I don't think so, sir. Okay, so while we're waiting, 20 push-ups. Give them right now, nobody beat my 60. So, is the curriculum the same now between the three locations? I'm not sure if they've had their bow strike test yet. If you watch their things and it's the same curriculum, then it is. <laughs> if not, then you're learning something cool. Okay, see, oh, you wanna go eat dinner right when we start push-ups, Nick? I see how it is, I see how it is. Um, the Kois, if you want a Zoom class, send me an email or send me a text and I'll do a Zoom class. Um, right now I have Jenny. I just need four people saying I would love to do a Zoom class and I'll do a Zoom class. I just don't want to do a Zoom class and have two that I had the last week. Um, and two people who were not in a space where they could do Taekwondo. So it was, uh, it basically said, hey, well, we don't, uh, I'm not sure if that's possible. So w will there continue to be online classes even after the studio opens? Absolutely, Emily. I will do online classes just like this one. There'll just be more. There'll just be, he got 86? No way, the McCoys do not have to do push-ups. The McCoys don't have to do push-ups. you do so. No, 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 I, did. I don't remember saying that at all. <laughs> 86? Colin, you almost broke the record, my man. Congratulations, the record is 95. Micaiah said he got 105, but nobody was there to watch him, so who knows. We would like to do that. Perfect. Then I'll start Zoom classes for Black Belt. Oh, okay. Hey, Taylor, I want you to know right now, I have no classes after this. Um, we'll cut this out at the end of the video. You feel free to ask as many questions as you want for Canvassy. I gotcha. And Emily, online classes? Yeah, we'll go for it. Okay, so I haven't done black belt Zoom classes because of the thing that I talked to you about. But now that I have all the people, my, I'll send out an email tomorrow. I always wait for Tuesday to send out links and things. It will probably be on Friday. It will probably be on Friday. So uh, we'll do Zoom classes Friday for you guys. I'll probably do Ninja Dragon. I probably won't do Dragon Zoom classes. <laughs> that was a mess. I'll probably do Ninja, White, Yellow, and Orange still together. 
and then I'll do brown or I'll do uh, black belts on Friday. All right. So I'll send out links and codes and for times for those things. Oh my goodness, good job, Stephanie. Beating your your son. I am impressed. I think Nick owes you push-ups. If you ask me, I don't have to do any push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> like tonight? Oh, Taylor, yeah, you can give me a call or you can just ask the questions right now and I'll get I'll answer them all. Type them out in the format. I gotcha. I'll I'll type, give you every answer in KMC. But if you don't answer me in the next minute and a half, I'm just gonna end the stream and you can call me. What time is it? Oh yeah, we're doing okay on time. Um, also, any questions answered may be good for any other black belts that may be in the call, apps, all that stuff. I'm not free this Friday, but any other. Hmm. I'll think about it, Jenny, since we only have like four people doing it. You not being there is a quarter, right? <laughs> it's a quarter off. So we'll, uh, I'll see if I can find a different time to do it at then. I, I can't do Saturdays or Sundays, but maybe I put it on Thursdays. Thursdays at 7. I can make that work and put brown and reds on Friday. I think I figured out what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, Jenny, it'll be Thursday at 7. Um, you guys are also welcome to join the brown and red ones to refresh our curriculum on Friday. What? Is the stretching class on Thursday as well? Yes, it's at 6 though. So I'm going to start it after that. So that's a full day. <laughs> yes. I have a, that's going to be uh, 11.30 to... Uh, uh, 9 30. That's gonna be fun. Mostly teaching classes, too. That's the hard part. If it was just typing on a computer, I could probably do it. It's fine. Not tonight. Okay. Thursday would be awesome for this week, maybe. Got it? Thursday this week. We are available whenever. That's that's the beauty of quarantine, baby. <laughs> yeah, you're keeping them apart from their dinner right now, sir. Oh, I am? Okay, well, then I'll end it here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. I will see you next time. Thank you for being here. Oop, let me, let me do this cool way.